Chelsea. How are you? Hi, I'm Laurie. How are you? Good, thanks. So it's been about a week since we last met, right? Right. Mm -hmm. um, let's start off maybe. Tell me about how your last week has been. Um, it's been kind of stressful. My boyfriend and I ended up getting into a fight this weekend. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, it's mainly because I've been going through his messages, and he doesn't like that at all. Um, what were you feeling when you went through his messages? How were you feeling when you went through his messages? I was feeling a lot of emotions, like, like I was like upset and angry about, about it. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, it sounds to me like there's not a lot of trust going on right now between you and your boyfriend. Is that like, right? I guess so, but like I thought that at the like at the beginning, like. When this whole thing happened, like the I thought I was right? getting, yeah, mm -hmm. like I thought I was getting better with trust, like over the last couple of weeks. Okay, you felt like you were getting better with trust. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, see, to me, from what I'm hearing, is that you sound like you're getting a little bit better with trust, yet you're still going through your boyfriend's phone. Um, how do you think that is? Um, I guess. With trust? Um, I guess it doesn't really make any sense now. Not, yeah. not so much, right? Okay. Well, I'm talking about other emotions that you were maybe feeling um, in the past week. Like, I've been like fine, like, I've been happy, like, just like connecting with my boyfriend again. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I'll just get so mad and then I'll just be like sad. And there's just so many emotions. There's a lot going on right now. Yeah. What's the main emotion that you think that you've been feeling? Probably being angry. I've been feeling a lot of anger lately. Okay, so let's kind of pull that out and focus on that for now. Um, what What do you think is making you feel so angry? Um, well, I guess that like I thought I was doing better with trusting people, but like it doesn't make really make sense what I was saying. So I can see that I can do a better job at trusting people than what I have been doing, and. I just like wish my boyfriend was more understanding with why I'm going through his phone and mm -hmm. just all that. Mm -hmm. So it seems that maybe um, from what I'm hearing is that you're a little bit stuck um, since the rape has happened. You're kind of stuck in the same place. Yeah. You haven't been able to move on so much. I feel like I haven't been making any progress. No. no. Um, and how are things at school then? Uh, things at school are getting better. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, I've been talking to my friends a lot more actually. Okay. About the rape. Mm -hmm. Well, see that's that right there you had said that you don't feel like you're making any progress or very much progress since the rape. Um, and when we talked last week, you said that the only person that you spoke to about it was your boyfriend and you just said now that you've been more open about it talking to your friends. So mm -hmm. that to me shows that you are making a little bit of progress. Yeah, I, I guess I can see that. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? Mm -hmm. Better. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so now that you mentioned like all of this stuff, I do feel like a lot better about everything. Like I feel like I'm opening up to people and People are starting to understand like why I've been like really upset and stressed out and really angry. Mm -hmm. To me, from what I'm getting is that um, well, from when we spoke last week, is you were very um, withdrawn. You were very stuck, sort of in the place since the rape. And um, you say that now that you're talking with your friends more and um, you're trying to work on the trust issue with your boyfriend, right. and you understand the importance of communication. Yeah. Right? Sure. Um, so to me, it seems like you're you're progressing. It is going to take a lot of time, um, especially with something as traumatic as a rape. Right. But being able to communicate about it, and like you have been doing, and um, I feel like communication is really important too, especially like when you're in a relationship. Like, like now I know like I can't be going through his phone all the time because like it's just a trust issue. Like, if I keep doing that, like. Like, we'll just keep fighting. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And the problem is always still there. Right. Okay, so then maybe this week then you can work on um, just your trust, just building your trust and continuing with the open communication. Okay. And then we can talk again. Right. All right? Okay, thank you.